LLM models have become a top commodity for riders, but it also become very hard to keep up with the latest LLM models and all their updates. That's why in this video, we're gonna compare and test together the best LLM model out there based on your own writing expectation. Whether that is the style, the tone, the format, or the structure of your writing, or whether that is non-fiction, fiction, or marketing writing. Not only am I gonna share with you my ranking of the best LLMs, but we're also gonna dive into the specificities of each LLM families, whether that is ChatGPT, Gemini, or Claude, so that what I'm saying right now won't be obsolete two weeks later. Ready? Let's dive in. Number one, Gemini, whose latest model is Gemini 2.5 Pro. Gemini is arguably the best LLM model out there right now. And that is also the case in terms of writing. As you can see here from the LM Arena from which we're gonna rely on for this video, in the overall text arena, Gemini 2.5 Pro tops all the other models out there in terms of its LO score. For many use cases, it's simply the best. But in terms of creative writing, it is also the best. The margin is a bit thinner with the other models, but in general, for what I've seen, it's still the best model in terms of writing. And especially some use cases are quite good with Gemini. So as you might know, this platform is called Open Router, and you can compare and test each LL models on all your prompts. Here, I tested them on each of my writing samples so that I can compare them more easily. And as you can see here, in terms of SEO writing, Gemini does quite good. It's very detailed, especially with the step-by-step -step explanation of how to do coffee roasting. So you have the roasting method, the essential, you have the roasting process with all the steps very well outlined. That is not usually the case with the other output I got here with the other models. It's not as detailed, it's good, but it's not as good as the output of Gemini 2.5 Pro. Yeah, it's especially, it nails the intent quite well here. It's not too generic and quite concrete, but it's not the only use case where Gemini shines. I think long form writing and research writing is also quite good. I found the argumentative essay I gave it to do was also very detailed, a lot of, of details on the essay compared to the others I can find. It was maybe less formatted, which is maybe a bit weird, but I think it just depends on the output for, for this use case. The literature review was also very detailed uh, with a lot of references, but I have to say it's also because it's a re reasoning model. So some of the models in this ranking are not reasoning models. And that makes a difference because this kind of model are really good at factuality and uh, yeah, really good at getting into the deep of all the arguments. So yeah, I think it was also quite good. It's difficult to assess the fiction capabilities of one LL models based on one sample. But when I tested it on one short story, it was also quite good, it was quite okay. And I think it can, can work also for in general if you want to do fiction writing. I think Claude is better, but we'll see that after. But it's still, yeah, it's still getting quite good. I think the Gemini models are right now the best LM models you can use as a writer. And I don't think it's gonna change compared to the other competitors. It has way more resources. It has a really long standing edge for a while, at least. So I think, yeah, even in the future, it will still be the best model you can use if you just want to test and write something with an LLM. Number two, Claude, whose latest model is Claude 4.5 Opus. Claude models have always been a favorite choice for writers, and for good reasons. Since its first models, it has always brought some kind of extra style, personality, and imagination, especially in fiction writing, that has always been a must-have for writers in general, especially fiction writers. The latest models before Claude 4 weren't actually that good in terms of writing. There was something, an extra spark that was missing, but this spark is actually back on the Claude Opus 4 model, and now the Claude Opus 4 one. As you can see here in creative writing, it tops also the leaderboard, the thinking model especially, but also the other non-thinking models. And from the vibes that I've seen, it's still quite good in terms of invention fiction. As you can see here, from all the short stories I've read from all these models, yeah, I think the Claude one is one of the best. It's actually quite good in terms of the dialogue. Even the, the story itself, I think it's more intriguing than the other story I read. 
on the other models. So yeah, this part is still good. Even the sonnet, the Shakespeare Yearn sonnet, I've uh, asked them to write. I think Claude sonnet is actually quite good also. There's all the good rhymes. And I think yeah, it, it tells something quite quite intriguing, I have to say. And that, that I think it nails quite good, like for what I, what I asked him to do, which is like, the tension between digital memory and human forgetting. Yeah, I think I really like this sonnet. The, the non-fiction pieces of writing were also quite good. They were not the best. For example, the SEO writing was not the more detailed. A bit too generic, I have to say. But I have to say, yeah, Claude is made for fiction writers in general. I think they're still gonna keep this spark in the next models. I think they know writers like the Claude models, so they will keep training their models on this specific use case. So yeah, you can use Cloud Opus 4 if you want to write a compelling story. Number three, ChatGPT. Whose latest model is ChatGPT 5? As you can see from the leaderboard, ChatGPT 5 tops also as one of the best LLM models in terms of text generation. And of course, it has always been the case as the most iconic LLM model out there. But it has actually not been the best models in terms of pure creative writing, which is the case with ChatGPT 5, who has got a weird downgrade in terms of the quality of its storytelling and fiction and detail writing, especially because it was trained overly on a very specific sample of writers, of high-level writers, but that didn't reflect that well in the output of ChatGPT 5. So maybe the training process wasn't the best. And as you can see here, it lags behind the other former models, which are ChatGPT 4.0 and even GPT 4.5, which was actually a good model for a fiction creative writers. It had some kind of vibe that was really interesting, but you cannot access ChatGPT 4.5 anymore, which is sad. You can still access GPT 4.0 or uh, free, but you cannot access this good one model, which is ChatGPT 4.5. But that doesn't mean ChatGPT 5 is bad in general writing. As you have seen before in the general leaderboard, it still ranks quite high. And that is reflected in the samples. For example, especially the SEO writing is quite good. It's the same level, I have to say, than to, Gemini 2.5. You can see here, a lot of insides and complete details about it. I think especially also the search feature and the research feature in ChatGPT is the best on the market. So if you want to do SEO and extract all the best data already on your articles on the internet, it's also quite good at it. So in terms of SEO writing, it's really good. Same also for the essay because ChatGPT is a big model, so there's a lot of information you can get without even the search feature. And also, of course, the literature review is also very well detailed because of the same reasons. So yeah, for nonfiction writing, it's really good, ChatGPT. But for the stories, it's, it's actually weird. So sometimes it can be actually quite good and sometimes it can be actually quite weird in terms of the use of descriptions and metaphors, the story itself, the structure of the story. This story here is actually not that weird compared to the other output of the other models. Maybe just the story of someone speaking to a music, a voice, a song. is on the well formulated, framed. So it's also a science fiction story, short story writing. So I think it could make sense. I mean, I'm not an expert in fiction writing, but I think it's, it's okay. But yeah, I think, I think it's not the best fiction writing I have here. Number four, DeepSeek, whose latest model is V3.1. This year, DeepSeek has created a lot of buzz among AI LLM users since it was a Chinese open source model that was, at the time as it was released, a big frontier model in the hands of everyone and with a very low price. As it was consistently ranked as the best open source model throughout the year, it is also a good model to use as a writer for an open source alternative. As you can see here right now, some models of Quen are better, but in general, DeepSeek tops the ranking. And in terms of creative writing, it is also always on the top. From what I've seen on the sample, it's actually good at everything in a way, but especially I think more fiction and creative writing. But I think it's more subjective. I don't have enough sample to, to tell that apart from the creative writing ranking, which is actually quite good. So for example, I found the sonnet of Dipsy quite good here. The short story was also okay. It wasn't the best, but it was interesting. And the essay also was fine. So I think, I think it's a good model for a bit of everything. And since it's an open source model, you can also fine tune it in your own way. You can also try to have it censored. You can find models that are non-censored and you can also, of course, deploy it locally 
on your own computer so you don't have so you need to be online to use it so that's, that's fine also and that has a lot of power to this model compared to the other private model that we have here on the ranking number five growth whose latest model is growth for the Grok models which are from elon musk xai company also has some of their own specificities. One is that they're less censored models. Grok is trained on a larger, more diverse data set based on the X platform. And also it has less guard rays in terms of its style and tone. So that makes it a very creative and edgy vibe to it. The Grok 4 model is also especially quite intelligent and it's also now a rezoning model. And that makes for an interesting mix. And you can see that on the samples. For example, the fiction writing is the only one where it's another location, which is Miami. Okay, why not? The SEO writing, it's it's fine. It's not the best. The ESA is also more interesting because it seems like Grok likes to tackle more controversial subjects. So sometimes for the ESA, you can, you can find some interesting vision and point of views that you wouldn't have in other models. For example, this essay from Grok cites Milton Friedman about the universal basic income that the other models didn't do that. Yeah, it, it tries to rely on other sources, what they will call here on X alternative sources, which can be interesting. So yeah, it's overall a quite interesting model. If you want to use it in your writing, you can add a different kind of vibe to your writing. So yeah, you can use it and test it and see how it looks for you. Number six, Quen. Whose latest model is Quang Free? So after DeepSeek and Grok on the leaderboard, there's a lot also of Chinese models that are staying out. I decided to choose Quen because it's a consistent company that is consistently appearing in the Frontier models. So maybe Kim would give me Cave 2 or Inyuan would maybe make for a better alternative in the future but right now i think when does quite good but from what i've seen on the sample it's more like deep sea so it's really it's actually good on most of use cases but i found it's especially good for essay and research and non-fiction writing for example the literature review with the reasoning model was also quite fine and a lot of details same for the essay there's also a lot of concrete details because it's a reasoning model so there's also a lot of examples and specific arguments. I also did a landing page sample. Um, and I have to say for this one, I thought it was maybe too much emojis on the Quen output compared to the other one. There was like no emojis, so that was interesting. So I think it's it's a bit like GPT-40, maybe it's a bit too emoji. It likes emoji too much sometimes, and the format can be sometimes a bit too much. But I don't know, I didn't test it enough to, to, to look at that. I think it's a fair model. It's also open source. It's a Chinese model. It's like deep sea, same level somehow. So yeah, you can also use it. Number seven, Mistral. Whose latest model is Mistral? So I also had to put Mistral. In this ranking, it's actually not the best model you can have. It's still ranking usually the 10th or 20th place in the leaderboard, but it's an open source model and it's European. So if you want to handle maybe sensitive data with your writing or if you just want to be sure you, you have control of your data, you can use Mistral and you don't want to use also a Chinese model. They're quite consistent also as a company, so they always have like a model that gets the higher top of the leaderboard. So you can rely on Mistral. And in terms of writing, it's okay. It's not the best compared to the other models. It's, it's kind of the same than Quent3. From what I've seen, it looks like it. So maybe the, the output sometimes a bit formatted and maybe for fiction, it's not the most subtle output i've seen but for for seo it does the job quite well as you can see from the essay here maybe it's a bit too structured and too similar in the structure but but the ideas are, are okay and they are fine it's also because it's not a reasoning model this one there's a reasoning model but it's not as high as the other reasoning model that we just saw yeah it's a good model to use if you, if you want to use a european company and not endorse a chinese company it's actually yet yeah, the best Open source model outside of China because the Lama models now are not that good compared now to the Mistral models. So yeah, you can you can use it safely and you can also find units as you like. So that's good. That's it. Now you have all the information you need to choose the LLM models that is perfect for your writing use case. To choose wisely, you might consider each LLM capabilities, weaknesses and strength, and also experiment and test by yourself to see which kind of output of the LLMs suits you the best. And otherwise, I hope this video was helpful to you. Now, of course, don't forget to like, to subscribe, or to leave a comment if you have any question. And otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.